Hi friends, this is Leela. So welcome to my channel. Now in this video, what we will try to see is we will see the component life cycle. In the previous videos, we have seen right. Uh, we have seen these all uh, ng on in it. These all things we have seen constructor ng on it. These all things. So we have skipped these all things. Now it's time to know what what is this ng on in it and these all things. So the ng on in it in these all things what we can say is these are nothing but the life cycle. Okay. So uh, when a component is created in the angular, it will it will execute it will it will go on checking some methods which will execute automatically those methods automatically uh, those methods. So those are nothing but what we can say is component life cycles. Component life cycle it will it will go a series of steps while creating the component. So we will uh, learn this life cycle. What are the what are the methods it will be executing? When the component is created, first method what it will try to create, what it will try to execute is ng on changes. Okay, so this is the method. What I can say is, it will try to check this method. So whether this method is uh, just like ng on it, first the method what it will execute is ng on changes. So what is this ng on changes? Is this one this method will invoke whenever an input property is changed so that means when an input property is initialized or any input property is changed so this method will be executing input property means the properties which are having at the rate input at the uh, before before the properties in so these properties in the parent component or anything so whoever the whatever the component is sending that data if any variable if any that property changes there ng on changes method will be automatically in, invoked so that you can write your custom code in that ng on changes so to do necessary actions if you want to do anything and next method what it will try to execute is ng on init okay so this is the ng on init this one is called whenever once the component is initialized so component is initialized so initialized means all the properties and all those things is initialized only then only this one is ng on init method is invoked and before this ng on changes and ng on init, you can also uh, say that constructor will be executed in between this one. So that one is not an angular life cycle, but it is a class uh, in the class thing. So constructor will be executed after the ng on changes. So you can think of like this. Okay. So now I can remove this one. Why? Because constructor will be in the class thing. So this is the angular life cycle. So ng on init will be executed. So when this ng on init method will be executed means it will be called once the component is initial. So another one is nothing but what I can do is ng do check. Okay, so this is the method. So when this method will be executed is so it will be it will be called every time whenever a change change is uh, done in that component. For example, any template any change any property is changed or any any template any something is changed means so after every time ng do check will be executing. So that means ng do do check will always run. For example, I can say I can say that. Whenever a button is clicked, immediately ng ng do check will uh, execute. Why? Because it, it necessary do it necessary has to check whether if the button is clicked means I need to do any action or something like that. So ng do check will be uh, executed all the time whenever any change directions uh, encountered when encountered any change directions or anything. Okay. Then afterwards, what I can say is ng after content in it. Okay. So this is the ng after content in it. So what is this one is the ng after content in it means nothing but we have already seen in the previous uh, videos about the ng content right. So ng content. So whenever whenever the ng content the template template data what is present inside that now uh, uh, what I can say inside that uh, parent component. So whenever that HTML content is projected into that view into this child component view whenever that uh, html content is pro projected into that view then uh, immediately this ng after content initial init will be executed then after this, what i can say is ng after content check so this one will be executed whenever what i can say is that uh, ng content template so whenever uh, the ng content temp template is projected into the view and after uh, successfully it has been placed it has been checked so for example what i can say is uh, in the ng content you have a user variable is there right so whenever the u variable is changing or anything so whenever the changes has be changes occurs in that uh, template component so this method will be executed we can say like this ng after content in it will be executed whenever first time the template the template is taken and it placed in the child component this will be executed 
whenever any changes are occurs or anything in the template means immediately this one is it. so this one will be executed only for first time whenever the changes exit it, get, it will be executed multiple times okay and another one what i can say is ng after view init so this one this this method will be ex uh, ex executed whenever after the components view and also the child views also child views uh, child views and its component view has been initialized whenever the view so ng on init the view will not be initialized only the properties and the constructor and all those things will be initialized after view we need means so view means the, all the template and all those things be initialized only after initializing only you can uh, this ng after view unit will be executed then after what we will be having is ng after view checked so this is the same thing so this one will be executed whenever any template or any every time it will be executed whenever the view or any view, view or child views or anything so which is present the template has been uh, detected any changes or anything so this method will be invoked so if you have any changes any any changes any property variable or changes in the template or anything means ng after view check will be executed okay and last but not least so whatever you will be having is last one is ng on destroy so this method uh, this this uh, method will be executed whenever the component is destroyed so whenever the component is uh, we are deleting that component or we are whenever the component is removing so ng on destroy will be executed then afterwards the component will be removed so this is the life cycle of the hooks these are all the methods that are executed in the component life cycle so ng on changes whenever any changes or any input property changes they will be having ng on init this is, will be called only once time when the component is initialized ng to check will be executed all the time whenever any changes with the property or anything any changes occurs any event or anything occurs ng to check will execute ng after content init means whenever ng content the, the template between the ng content is taken it placed in the you in the template then this method will be executed this one is also one time when the ng content is placed ng after content check will be used whenever the ng content data is changed so ng after view unit means whenever the view is initialized this one will be executed ng after view checked means so whenever the data in the uh, template or any child views or anything uh, is changed means has been changed or anything changed means ng after view checked is executed so last last one is ng on destroy this one will be executed whenever the component is deleted okay whenever the whenever we are removing, removing the component so this one will be executed and the component will be removed so these are the life cycle of the angular component so we will check about these all the things through the code code through the code how these how these uh, methods will be executed in the next video so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you